All right. So anyway, you want you want to hear the uh, air, airplane story? Um, yeah, I told that story. I don't know. I told it a couple times, a number of times actually, and there's nobody that I haven't been afraid to tell it to. But I'll we'll tell it here to you. Yes, yes, I will tell you um, anyway what happened. So I don't know. I'm thinking ten, uh, probably about fifteen years ago, and um, I'm working for this company, and um, every year uh, they used to take like all the field guys, it was about 120 guys, and they would uh, take them and put them in a hotel somewhere for like two weeks, which they called summer school, and it was two weeks of, you know, training and seminars and all this stuff, and anyway, um, the company, uh, CCC, um, I'll tell you, I have never worked for a company that um, promoted um, drinking as much as this this place. So you got this, you got 120 guys in a hotel <coughs> and um, and nothing but drinking and partying. Well, anyway, we're out. I I thought I think we were in California, and um, we had booked a flight to come home um, after the last day and like dumbasses. We booked a 6 a.m. flight and uh, to get back to Cleveland. Well, the night before that, they had uh, a big party, like a big banquet, like going away, you know, and the, whatever. And uh, we we're thinking, like, oh shit, you know, we got this banquet, but we're gonna have to get up at like four o'clock in the morning to to catch this flight. So. <coughs> um, we get on this, uh, the guy that I'm rooming with, he comes up with the idea that, hey, you know what would be a good idea is, why don't we um, stay up all night, and we'll just drink, and, you know, we'll party, and we'll just stay up, and then, you know, at 4 o'clock, we'll start getting ready, we'll head over to the airport, and then we'll just sleep on the flight home. And, you know, at the time, it, it sounded like a good idea. So, um so yeah, we go to a banquet, you know, we're partying with all everybody else, and the party ends, and then we go back to the room with a couple guys, you know, just to try to stay up, and you know what, we did, we stayed up, and, um, you know, everybody else is crashing, and, and me and this guy, we're trying to stay up, come four o'clock, um, we decide that, uh, you know, we'll get ready, and I'll say somewhere between... We got we had to get to the airport by five, but somewhere between four and five o'clock that morning, we went directly from too drunk to extremely hungover, and um, it, it was horrible. I mean, there was no sleep. We just went right from drunk to hungover. I, I've never in my life felt it. So now we're at the airport, and I, I, I he says he didn't go to throw up, but I. I'm almost sure he did, because I, I thought I heard him, because I know I did. I know I ended up throwing up. Anyway, so we get on the plane, and actually there's four of us on the plane, and I'm in first class, and he's in first class, and the other two guys are in the back, and we're, uh, the plane takes off, and we're flying, and neither one of us could, could sleep because we're so sick. Even the stewardess is looking at us, and she's just like, you guys are going to be all right, you know, because, I mean, we looked that bad. The plane stopped somewhere, and he had to go into the back, um, and I don't ask me why, but anyway, he went in the back, so I was up in first class all by myself, and then we went from the, wherever we stopped, I don't remember, to Cleveland, and then the plane lands in Cleveland, and you know when the plane lands, taxis up to the gate, and it stops, and then the the bell goes off, and um, you know everybody jumps up. Everybody just jumps up right into the aisle to get ready to go. Well, everybody jumps up, and I'm like, no fucking way. You know, I'm, I'm not getting up. But I've got the last seat in first class, and it's right on the aisle. And everybody's just standing, like, right there, like like three inches away. And they're, they're standing there waiting, you know, for them to say we get off the plane. And for some reason, I decide at this point, I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to 
see where those guys are, you know, if they're, you know, how close they are so I know when to get up. Well, I turn my body and I, I turn back, turn back around, and it, I don't know if it was the torque, the twist, or what it was, but whatever it was, it was. All of a sudden, all you heard was this. <laughs> I, I, I don't know where it came from, but um, the stairs. I mean, uh, well, I just turn around and kind of duck my head a little bit and just was looking out the window, and I, I swear I could feel everybody just staring at the back of my neck, like going, "Jesus, what the hell was that?" You know, because I mean it was loud. So finally, thank God, uh, I hear you know they start getting off the plane and everybody's moving and I'm like, oh, thank God. And they're even, well, finally those three guys show up and I get up and they're, and they're like, what are you doing? You know, and I says, oh, you won't believe it. And he's like, well, what happened? I said, well, I, I just shit myself in front of everybody on first class. So I, they're laughing at me and I'm like, I'm dying. I'm thinking, I can't believe I just did that. And, um, they said, ah, who cares, you know, like, they're never going to see you again, so I, it doesn't really matter. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I guess so. Well, I forgot I have to go down the luggage and get my bags, and I remember the four of us walking down to get our bags, and as we were walking towards that crowd of people, I could just, I could just tell, people were just like, oh, there, there's that son of a bitch who shit himself in first class. So, yeah, I guess, anyway, to, to say it was uncomfortable... Um, yes, it was very, very uncomfortable.